Well, you probably noticed a spike in gas prices this week. There is nothing more frustrating than waiting to get gas and then finding out when you go, it's 10 cents higher than it was the day before when you probably should have gassed up in the first place. Brightside's Jenny Dean is live this morning to put those gas prices into perspective for us. Jenny, good morning. Yeah, Rob, this week's increase was a bit of a surprise because AAA says that there is a strong supply and there's continued weakness in both wholesale and in crude gas prices. So they say that the prices should start inching down a little bit. We're kind of seeing that right now. It's down a few cents here at the racetrack in St. Pete. But let me put all of this in perspective and break it down for you with the prices nationwide, statewide. Right now, the state average is 262 a gallon. That is 16 cents less than the national average. So let's take a look at last summer. In 2018, gas averaged 277 a gallon in the state of Florida. So when you look at the big picture overall, it's really not that bad. And according to a AAA spokesperson, these higher gas prices, it's really probably reached its peak for the summer. They should be in the rearview mirror. So Go ahead, load up the family truckster, and you can head out for, uh, you know, a short little vacation on the weekend or maybe go on that longer vacation because it looks like the national prices are kind of stabilizing as well. Rob? 